Here is our list of the very best CPUs for gaming and streamers you can buy right now. Best Intel CPU for gaming, Intel Core i5-13600K. If you're looking for a great gaming experience with the potential for core heavy workloads, then the Core i5-13600K is for you. This is Intel's replacement for the Core i5-12600NK, which previously held this spot, and although the new 13600K is $70 more expensive at $320, it comes with more than enough performance to make up for it. The 13600K is essentially a 12600K with 4 extra E cores for a total of 6 P cores and 8 E cores, which makes the 13600K identical to high end Alder Lake PCPU for laptops such as the Core i9-12900H. Additionally, the 13600K also surpasses the 5 GHz mark with a turbo boost of 5.1 GHz, making it the first mid range CPU from Intel to do so out of the box. But for gaming, the 13600K's most important improvement is its cache, which has been increased from 29.5 MB to 44 MB of combined L2 and L3 cache. Compared to its main rival the Ryzen 5 7600X, the 13600K trades blows. According to TechSpot, the 13600K is well in the lead in productivity thanks to its high core count, but is a tad slower in games and consumes much more power. It would be nice if the 13600K was just a little faster for gaming given its price tag, but unless you're aiming for 240 frames per second in even the most demanding games, you should be satisfied with the level of performance this CPU has to offer. If the price is an issue on the 13600K, you should opt for the Core i5-13600KF which has no integrated graphics but is slightly cheaper at $310. The old 12600K is also still an option, though we're not sure how long it will remain at $250 since Intel has increased the price on 12th generation parts. There's also the Core i5-13400 which is basically a 12600K without overclocking support and lower clock speeds but with the larger cache that 13th generation CPUs offer. A link for more details, specifications and to purchase the Intel Core i5-13600K, our choice as the best Intel CPU for gaming is in the description below. Best AMD CPU for gaming. AMD Ryzen 5 7600X. There was a time when buying a CPU you would go AMD for multi core, multi thread performance, and Intel for that single core burst. The latter helped Intel come out on top for pure gaming, but it fell behind Ryzen for everything else. The tables have now been fully turned, though. Where Intel has its hybrid design CPU with high core counts, AMD has retained a more traditional design and with it, impressive single core performance. The Ryzen 5 7600X is also now one of the entry-level models for AMD, at least for the time being. There's currently no Ryzen 3, and for gamers, a Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 is overkill. The sweet spot is the most affordable. It's this one. On paper, it's familiar territory. 6 cores, 12 threads only now for the first time, also integrated graphics. The base frequency is 4.7 GHz and the boost frequency is 5.3 GHz and like all Ryzen chips, it's also unlocked if you want to tinker. Not that you really need to. As you would hope, for gaming it outperforms Intel's Core i5-13600K, mostly thanks to its larger L3 cache. Things shift clearly to the 13600K's favor in multicore applications as the 7600X's 6 cores can't keep up with the 13600K's 14. However, it's important to keep in mind that the 13600K is about $80 more at retail, so it's not like the 7600X is just a worse CPU. If you're focused mostly on gaming, the 7600X is still a great option, and in productivity the 7600X is still plenty fast, just not as fast as the 13600K. The 7000 series from AMD is the first new socket in a number of years, moving to M5. With it, you'll only be able to use DDR5 RAM as well, which while unlocking serious performance, also adds to your overall budget. It also supports PCIe 5.0, which is limited right now, but will start to be a thing in the not-so-distant future. AMD has a history of supporting its platforms in the longer term, so even though it requires a full new system now, you'll be set for many years to come. To see more specifications, details and price of this CPU please see the link in the description. Best High Performance CPU for Gaming Intel Core i7-13700K So the Core i5-13600K is pretty fast for gaming, but it's not quite the fastest Intel CPU for gaming, and it's also lacking in raw power for other tasks. For $100 more, you could step up to the Core i7-13700K, which has two more cores, more cache, and higher clock speeds, all of which are great for boosting performance with those last two being, especially important for gaming. 
The 13700K uses Intel's latest Raptor Lake architecture which is mostly a refresh of 12th generation Alder Lake but with some important additions. Firstly, the Raptor Lake CPU have much more L2 cache than Alder Lake CPU with the 13700K coming in at 24 megabytes, almost twice that of the old flagship, the Core i9-12900K. Most 13th generation CPU also have higher clock speeds than their last gen counterparts and the 13700K actually outdoes the 12900K in frequency at 5.4 GHz versus 5.2. Perhaps the most interesting thing Intel has done with Raptor Lake is adding e-cores all across the stack. What this means for the 13700K is that it actually has the same 8P core and 8E core configuration as the 12900K but with all the benefits of the Raptor Lake architecture. Basically, the 13700K is a better 12900K with a lower price tag. The Core i9-13900K has even more cores, 8P plus 16E, but with its higher price tag and much higher power consumption, the 13700K is easier to recommend, and it's barely any slower in games. At about $420, the Core i7-13700K is pretty expensive, but objectively a great value, for anyone who wants to game at a high frame rate and do productivity work as quickly as possible. There's also the Core i7-13700KF, which is the same CPU but without integrated graphics and it sells for slightly less at $400. The best CPU for streamers. AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. AMD newest, most powerful Ryzen CPU is one that will have the streamers out there pricking up their ears. One of Ryzen's strengths, ever since it first hit the market, has been incredible multi-thread performance, important for taxing workloads. Intel has gone down a different route with its hybrid designs, but AMD is still keeping it a little more traditional and the Ryzen 9 7950X is 16 cores and 32 threads of raw, immense power. Gamers can better spend their money since 16 cores is overkill and then some, but where the 7950X comes in is those who want to game and create. When you consider it in that context, it makes much more sense. Want to game and stream? Render high-resolution video. Use software such as Blender or Unreal Engine. In taxing processes like all of these sometimes, there's just no substitute for more. More cores, more threads, more performance. The Ryzen 9 7950X is one of the first Zen 4 AMD chips from AMD, the first time we've had a new socket in some years. As such you'll need to upgrade everything in your rig. It only supports DDR5, you'll need a new motherboard, too. It's built to support PCIe 5.0, though admittedly there are limited use cases for that right now, but you can transfer over your existing PCIe 4.0 drives and upgrade to PCIe 5.0 devices in the future. In our testing, the Ryzen 9 7950X is one of the fastest CPU you can buy. It's perhaps just a hair slower than Intel's core i9-13900K overall, but generally you'll find that the Ryzen 7950X is equal to the Intel 13900K temperatures can get a little on the warm side, but doesn't exceed the 203 degrees Fahrenheit that AMD has previously declared. At idle it will sit happily at about 104 degrees Fahrenheit under an all-in-one cooler, and you'd be able to drop that even further with some serious liquid cooling. Ultimately AMD has made a pretty meaningful update to the Ryzen family and its flagship model is going to be popular with creators. The days of needing two computers to stream with, for example, are increasingly looking like being over thanks to advances such as this one. It's pricey, yes, but it's as powerful as you can get right now on a consumer platform. And AMD is going to be here for many years, so you will be as future-proof as they come. Best Budget CPU for Gaming Intel Core i5-12400 Intel's Core i5-13600K gets our top recommendation, but there's another one that deserves attention in the budget space, the Intel Core i5-12400. Given its great performance to price ratio, it's earned a big recommendation from us if you're building on a budget. In terms of specifications, the Intel Core i5-12400 has a base frequency of 2.5 GHz and a max turbo boost frequency of 4.4 GHz. We're looking at 6 cores and 12 threads for this chip and an 18 MB L3 cache. This chip, unlike new Raptor Lake and high-end Alder Lake parts, only comes with 6 performance cores and no efficiency cores. The lack of efficiency cores means it's not a hybrid chip, but it still packs the Golden Cove architecture inside its performance cores. And that's perfect for gamers because it means you still get great single-core performance. As for the performance, it's right up there with a lot of other higher-end chips on the market for gaming. It offers great single-core performance and a relatively commendable multi-threaded performance to deliver impressive gaming results. 
It handily beats a lot of previous Gen chips, including remarkably the 11th Gen's hero product, the Core i9 11900K. The 11900K performs better in heavily multi-core focused tasks, but the budget Alder Lake part easily topples it on other tests. The Core i5-12400 is also very forgiving when it comes to power draw and thermal performance. It goes easy on the power consumption front, thereby producing significantly less heat. Even a decent air cooler is plenty to tame this chip. In fact, Intel's own laminar CPU coolers that are bundled in the box should be enough to keep the thermals in check for this chip. That makes it a solid offering for budget, conscious shoppers who are looking to save as much money as they can on their new build. We recommend pairing the Core i5-12400 with a B660 motherboard that supports DDR4 for maximum bang for your buck. You'll also be able to take advantage of all the speedy PCIe 4.0 SSD available today, so it's a great choice, even for budget shoppers. The Core i5-12400 is no K-series chip, but you can still overclock it thanks to the support for base clock overclocking. That being said, the 12400 performs great at stock settings and we don't recommend overclocking it. But it's there if you like to tinker. Although the faster Core i5-13400 is technically a direct replacement for the 12400, in reality, the 12400 remains a great budget CPU since its price is so much lower than the 13400. Until the 12400 is absent from the market or starts retailing at unreasonable prices, it will probably remain the best budget CPU you can buy. Best Gaming CPU Without a Graphics Card AMD Ryzen 5 600G AMD Ryzen APU have integrated graphics processors and take advantage of the system memory to deliver impressive gaming performance. AMD has a solid lineup of APU on the market under its 5000 series. The Ryzen 7 5700G is a slightly more powerful APU but, it's the Ryzen 5 5600G that deserves a spot inside your PC. The hype around the Ryzen 7 5700G quickly wears off once you get your hands on the Ryzen 5 5600G, which serves up roughly 96% of its performance for less of your money. The Ryzen 5 5600G has 6 cores and 12 threads and it comes as a part of AMD first of 7 nanometers APU for desktop computer. The APU comes with Zen 3 execution cores paired with the Radeon Vega graphics engine. The Ryzen 5 5600G comes with a 3.7 GHz base and a 4.4 GHz boost clock, 16 MB of L3 cache and 7 Radeon RX Vega operating at 1.9 GHz. We're also looking at a configurable TDP that stretches from 45 watts to 65 watts, although you can expect it to operate mostly at 65 watts TDP under load. As a Zen 3 processor, the Ryzen 5 5600G steps up to DDR4-3200 from DDR4-2933, which is very important for good performance on the GPU by the way, make sure you're pairing the 5600G with two sticks of RAM so that you can take advantage of dual-channel memory. Running RAM in single-channel mode isn't just bad for CPU performance, it's also terrible for GPU performance too. Except for the 5700G, the Ryzen 5 5600G is the current leader of the pack when it comes to processors with the integrated graphics engine, especially at its price point. It's capable of running most new titles in the market, although you may have to keep your expectations in check when it comes to the overall graphical fidelity. We'd recommend a discrete GPU over an APU for serious gaming, but entry-level gamers will find a lot of value in APU it's also a perfect CPU choice for small, form factor, or home entertainment computers. The only weakness of the 5600G is that, it's an AMD CPU and the AMD platform isn't getting any new CPU or chipsets anymore. To make matters worse, the only APU to upgrade to is the 5700G, which isn't any better in gaming and is only faster in applications that are highly multi-threaded. However, if you get a discrete GPU that opens up your options and you could get a Ryzen 9 5900X or 5950X for high-end computing or a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D for high-end gaming. We listed the link for this CPU as well as the others below if you would like to explore more details on the processors. Our collection of the best processors, as we mentioned earlier, reflects the ever-evolving current market. We will keep you updated with newer and better processors for gaming, streaming and content creation as they are released to the public. Be sure to drop us a comment and let us know in case we missed any of your favorite central processing units. Please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching. Have a great day.